Welcome back to Ozark's Fox AM. It's time to get caught up with all the entertainment news and Holly Weird and all those celebrities. <laughs> Kaylee, what do you got? That's right. Celebrities are at commencement. The return of 90s cartoons are coming back, and Hollywood mourns the loss of several icons. Here's your entertainment headlines. Nostalgic about the 90s, Viacom officials have announced the movie reboots of Rocco's Modern Life and Invader Zim have been sold. The lucky bidder, Netflix. The film Static Cling will feature the crew from Rocco's Modern Life, leaving 1996 for today's world. And if you're craving something cosmic, Invader Zim Enter the Florpus will star the power hungry alien named Zim as he continues his quest for global domination. Classic cartoon fans are in luck. Both movies are written and directed by the original creators, and they also feature many of the original voice actors. Release dates have not yet been announced. If you don't know what to name your kid, maybe an episode of Game of Thrones will give you some ideas. Data released from the Social Security Administration shows a large increase in Game of Thrones character names among children. Excluding Johns and James, more than 4,500 children were given names from the series in 2018. That's up from 3,800 in the previous year. Leading the way with the most popular name in 2018 is Aria. With more than 2,500 girls and 49 boys given that name, they're followed by Khaleesi, Yara, and Liana. This isn't a typical graduation ceremony. Superstars Justin Timberlake and Missy Elliott were honored at Berkeley College of Music's commencement over the weekend. The artists received honorary doctor and music degrees from the college's president. With Elliot becoming the first hip hop artist to be given the doctorate, she'll slide the diploma next to her five Grammys. Timberlake was honored for his influence on pop music, including his 10 Grammys. When I was young, I felt like a weirdo. I felt like I, I didn't belong. And um, I look around this room and I feel like I found all the rest of the weirdos. We're all here, you know what I mean? <sighs> I just want y'all to know there will be ups and downs. Um, prepare for that, but don't give up. More than 1,000 graduates received degrees at the ceremony. Speaking of stars, it's been a sad week in Hollywood. She was just charming, and she had such a beautiful, lovely voice, and the way she sang Que Sera Sera, which is one of her famous songs. Doris Day passed away at age 97 yesterday from pneumonia. Fans are flocking to her star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame to pay respect. Day made her mark starring in musicals and comedies like Pillow Talk and the Alfred Hitchcock film The Man Who Knew Too Much. Fans say she won't be forgotten. I remember her more for being a, a symbol of Hollywood that really doesn't exist anymore. There was an innocence of those days, and she portrayed the, uh, the nice girl in the movies with Rock Hudson and so forth. But uh, I'll, I'll remember her fondly. A member of a 60s and 70s TV cop trio known as the Mod Squad has died. Peggy Lipton, who played Julie Barnes, the blonde female member in the undercover counterculture cop show, passed away from cancer at age 72. Lipton, who was also a former model, won a Golden Globe for Mod Squad. Appearing in over 80 films, veteran British actor Clement Von Frankenstein has died, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Von Frankenstein died 10 days after being put in a medically induced coma. He was 74 years old. Best known for starring in The American President opposite Michael Douglas and Annette Bening, Von Frankenstein's acting career spanned 40 years. Jeremy, you mentioned Doris Day's uh, passing yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. It broke um, yeah. during the show. Yes, and I loved her. My family would always get together and watch Doris Day Rock Hudson movies as a child, so I. I just liked, I loved her and liked they her, and I thought they were so good great. together. They were good together. They were great friends, and she was just that innocent, just sweet, Earth. sweet, sweet gal. I loved her so I was much. say, like that guy said, the innocence that she portrayed was yeah. unlike any other. Yeah. Even when she tried to be mad in yeah. the movie, she never could pull it <laughs> off very well because she was so nice. That guy put it very eloquently. He, she represents a a past Hollywood that didn't exist anymore, a past innocence, a past mm -hmm. kind of that royalty feeling of Hollywood back in the day, mm -hmm. doesn't exist anymore, but she's class act all the way. It's gone.
I wish we yes. could interject that back in. So I would, I'd like to see that again. Honestly, I'd love to see that again. I think that we're too open. I think we talk about things that mm -hmm. I don't want to hear about. I mean, it's like, really, why do we have to talk about all the personal mm -hmm. things and all? Just, just leave that alone. Let's just not do that. Yeah. yeah. Also, you were talking about Game of Thrones names. That's yeah. crazy. Arya, uh, that's kind of, Arya with a Y, A R Y A. Arya. Um, that was the biggest one. Mm -hmm. Well, in college, like you sing yeah. arias, A-R-I-A, -A, aria. So yeah. when I was yeah. in college, a music major, we sang arias. And that's when she came in Game of Thrones, I was like, that just sounds maybe like a song. Maybe that's where they <laughs> came up with it. That's, I think so. It seems pretty common. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll be back with Celebrity Birthdays right after this. Don't go anywhere. I have some entertainment news on one.